I've had uh, psoriasis uh, since I was five years old and suffered with that over the years. Uh, I had it very badly on my hands, my feet, coming up my legs. It was very much of an embarrassment. And when I first had it as a child, they recommended white, or excuse me, clear nail polish to put the clear nail polish on the open inflamed areas. Primarily, they said to reduce the flaking. Um, uh, the other thing was, uh, is uh, when I was young, was I lived in the Midwest, I was not allowed in public pools. I was not allowed to go to people's homes that had swimming pools because of the fear that I was contagious. Uh, another thing that they did was wrap me in gauze and white gloves, um, and then also I had problems with shoes. There were certain shoes I couldn't wear because it seemed to irritate my feet. Um, and then as it started to gravitate up my legs, then of course uh, my change in style changed as well. There wasn't the ability to wear a dress or a skirt because of the exposure of that. So there was a lot of different um, methods. Medications were very expensive, lots of creams and and other uh, cortisone creams that actually antagonized it and made it much worse. So uh, uh, there, I went through a lot of different doctors, a lot of different treatments, and nothing really seemed to work. As I got older, it started to progress and get worse. And so um, I learned about John McDougall. I went on that diet. Um, first started as a vegetarian, and the symptoms started to subside a little bit, but not like they should. And then I went completely on the McDougal diet, and I don't have it. So I have suffered with psoriasis for over 30 years, and um, actually 35 years I have suffered with it, and it's completely gone. I don't have markers for it as far as lab reports. Um, all the markers for anti-inflammatory uh, disease processes are gone. Um, I've been in the healthcare field as a registered nurse, um, and I will tell you that the McDougal diet has absolutely changed my life. I grew up with a uh, very much Italian diet with pastas and cheese and all those kinds of things. Uh, we used to basically um, dip ourselves in olive oil. <laughs> that was a big thing. Uh, but once I cut out the oils, once I cut out the cheese, and once I went on the McDougal diet, it absolutely changed me. And it was a very, I would say within a year, I saw a progressive change. And now that I've been on McDougal uh, diet since 2007, I have absolutely no indication that I ever had an autoimmune disease process. But I will tell you that getting off of that oil and the cheese is what really, really caused uh, not only for me to uh, keep my weight down, but it also contributed to um, curing my psoriasis. And I, I don't use that word curing loosely, but I will tell you, as far as the McDougal diet, has absolutely cured it. I've gone to the doctor just recently in the past year, absolutely have no markers for anti-inflammatory condition at all, and I was suffering. It was starting to gravitate, like I said, um, up my legs. I was having a lot of problems walking because uh, it was so bad on my feet and it was it was awful. I had a very sad life <laughs> with it. Uh, suffered um, too long and I've not had anything and I feel great. I absolutely, I can use my hands. So I feel wonderful. Um, and I owe it all to him. He's a great person. And I'm also in the medical field. They think that I'm weird too because of the way that I eat, but I have a lot of colleagues um, that are very unhealthy in the medical profession. So I try to do what Mc Dr. McDougall does, and I try to lead by example. Uh, if it wasn't for him and his ability to research and do all those things for us, I would have suffered probably worse as I got older, uh, affecting me uh, in other ways and because of his research and his diet and 
his books and all the things that he's done, I'm the person I am today and I'm extremely grateful to him. So it has absolutely changed my life and I owe him a great deal.